Hey everyone, I'm Nathaniel Rubble Jazz from Nintendo Prime, and uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a different angle, isn't it? Kind of cool what can happen when I'm freed up of my uh, wires. But what I want to actually talk to you today is about what's on the screen, where it says Nintendo games on PC, because actually we have some evidence to suggest that Nintendo might be very well releasing some of their best games, either from Switch or prior systems, maybe even dating back to the Nintendo Wii, on PCs. Sort of a dream come true for many gamers. And you might go, but Nate, you're a Nintendo YouTuber. Shouldn't you be opposed to this? Because doesn't this devalue Nintendo systems? And to that I say, no. Just like Microsoft has their games on PC, PlayStation brings their games slowly over to PC as well. I think the best thing for video games is to expand your audience and to reach audiences that maybe weren't playing your games or if they were, would like other options to enjoy them and maybe just use their Switch when they're on the go. So to this I say, it's actually kind of cool. Of course, some people might go, but Nate, aren't you then supporting Nintendo games appearing on Steam Deck? And to that I say, so what? Who really cares? I'm all about getting the games I think are worth playing into as many hands as possible. I am not like super tied to having to use Nintendo hardware. I think Nintendo games are where the real value is at, although the hardware is nice as well at times, and I actually do enjoy my Switch. I mean, I got, you know, an OLED just, just chilling back here, you know? Why would I have OLEDs? hanging around my house if I didn't actually enjoy the platform. That being said, uh, I want to remind you that we have a giveaway going on right now for three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. All you have to do is go down into the pinned comment or to the description and click on the viral sweep link to enter for that. I uh, will be announcing those winners uh, towards the launch of the game in January. Also, uh, yeah, we have other giveaways going on. I can tell you right now, we actually have a few giveaways happening during the Game Awards. So you're going to want to show up uh, on the Game Awards on December 9th right here. I don't have the stream set up yet, but when I do, I will give you all the details on that. There's a few items already arriving at my house for that uh, so yeah thank you so much for all your support I would appreciate it if you drop a like on this video and subscribe as well obviously uh, you guys supporting the channel is how I'm able to do the giveaways and able to really connect in a way uh, that I enjoy including doing this amazing you know thing with the wireless mics now I'm, I can now spin around and it's all good so thank you guys for enabling us uh, to expand the way I do my content All right, so I'm gonna look at my notes here because this actually touches upon a previous rumor we talked about where the biggest game leak ever. We just talked about this last week and we've talked about it earlier this year because NVIDIA GeForce Now actually had a leak that NVIDIA confirmed but said it was speculative on a bunch of games. And a couple games on that list we didn't talk about that most people have ignored because nobody thought anything of it were some games from Nintendo or at least games that involved Nintendo characters. So they had listed New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle for a PC port. That was on this NVIDIA game list, but it got kind of ignored because Nintendo does these little experiments all the time. They usually don't lead to anything and it's hard to believe Nintendo would ever put their games on PC. But we have a bit more evidence now to suggest that this very well might be happening probably as soon as next year at the earliest i would say but let's get into the uh the reasonings for this so there were two leaks that happened actually before nvidia's leak that were mostly confirmed by not only nvidia's leak but some of the games confirmed by that leak and in these rumors that kind of got ignored, especially when the GeForce Now leak happened shortly after, uh, was that Mario plus Rabbids was actually going to become a multi-platform game, which would be the case if it was going to PC. Also, interestingly enough, on what I felt like, you know, it looked like a bit of a pipe dream rumor list, uh, Banjo, Kazooie getting a brand new announcement, a brand new game announced next year, coming in 2022. I mean, that's that's exciting on its own, but maybe not as much for us here on the Nintendo side of things if you don't happen to own a PC or Xbox, etc. I do, so it's exciting for me, but you know, maybe they would bring up the Switch too. I have no idea. I mean, Banjo Kazooie made it in the Smash, so I guess anything's possible. Um, 
But I want to get into why we shouldn't ignore this. So Nintendo has refused to put their games on basically any hardware they don't control. However, Nintendo has been actually more open about this lately. So they originally stated we are not going to ever put games on, on, uh, on you know, mobile phones like this. And then turns out they are. Um, Nintendo also actually had some games come out on the NVIDIA Shield uh, TV out in China. Now this was likely due to the contract they had with NVIDIA to create Switch hardware. But still, it's something to keep in the back of your mind that Nintendo allowed some Wii games to appear on hardware that was not Nintendo branded in HD at that, like the OG Wii games. We don't have the OG Wii games in HD anywhere. We do have Twilight Princess HD, but it's not the OG. It is a modified version of the game. So yeah, uh, kind of interesting to see that Nintendo allowed that to happen. They are now also bringing their IP. Obviously, we just had recently a Pikmin Bloom launch on our phones. So we have obviously entered an arena where Nintendo is more willing than ever to put their games on more platforms. Uh, so we have to consider that and in other words, it's not really out of the realm of possibility for Nintendo to allow a very, very select few games to appear on PC. Uh, something like Mario plus Rabbids that's created by Ubisoft might actually make a lot of sense because not only does Ubisoft have a lot of experience bringing games to PC with the Snowdrop engine that game uses, but also it involves third party characters. So it might be an experimental thing for Nintendo to see, hey, will this be well received and does it hurt sales or does it help sales for things something like Sparks of Hope next year, uh, which would obviously still be on Switch. Even if it does come to PC, it would be on Switch first. Um, so also I think adding games like New Super Mario Bros. Wii uh, is a game that's old enough, easy enough to port, and wouldn't actually hurt Switch sales to possibly be a first foray into releasing Nintendo content on PC. I naturally wouldn't anticipate uh, first party Switch games officially ported anytime soon, but this is sort of a possible step in the right direction. So yeah, Tim Foyle had it, and do what you need to do to, to, to hype, you know, or to temper your hype a little bit, right? We don't have any confirmations here, but the fact that Nintendo games were actually being worked on on PC is a good sign. There is nothing negative about this. Now, there is going to be some of you guys out there bringing some negative opinions into this foray and being worried about things. I won't. We're talking about really old, old games, you know, Wii games or older. And yeah, having them more, uh, available to play in more areas, I think at this point isn't a problem. Maybe even, you know, third-party multiplayer. Octopath Traveler is on PC. Project Triangle Strategy next year that's coming to Switch first is also going to end up being on PC. Monster Hunter Rise, which was on Switch first, is on PC next year. So I don't think we should necessarily frown upon this. I could understand if you were concerned if Nintendo's exclusives were heading to PlayStation, but I don't know that PC is really cannibalizing Switch. Now, I know Steam Deck is coming out and we can make some arguments there that Steam Deck might be cannibalizing Switch, but I sincerely hope not. So yeah, um, Nintendo games on PC. What are your guys' thoughts? Do you want this to happen? What games would you like to see ported over? What ones do you want them to wait a little bit longer on? Uh, personally, I think we're at a point now that a game like Breath of the Wild, I feel like should be officially ported over, but you know, you guys let me know what you think makes sense at this point. Um, also, I think bringing games officially over helps curb a little bit of the piracy uh, that we worry about that already happens with Nintendo's games. So there's that as well. Nintendo, if people are going to play your games on PC. Why not get involved and make some money off it? I mean, it's your games after all, right? Like, why not? All right, so sort of as a bonus story to this video, I want to talk about this moment. This is uh, the Game Awards 2016. Uh, the last time the Zelda series was present at the Game Awards in terms of advertising for a new game. Uh, they put out a brand new trailer they dropped at the Game Awards before Breath of the Wild came out in 2017 and after it was confirmed to be already coming to Switch Day 1 and obviously had a big blowout at E3 2016. So I find this to be a key thing to point at as we look back at the rumors surrounding the possibility of Breath of the Wild 2 being there. First we had Samus Hunter saying we're going to get 35th anniversary stuff there, noting Breath of the Wild 2 could be part of that. And then obviously we had Jeff Keighley teasing that they have a world premiere in the works uh, for something for the last two and a half years, and he's really excited for you to see it. Now, that's a general statement and can really apply to anything. You could think it applies to Hellblade, which technically Hellblade was shown two years ago, so I don't know why it'd be a two and a half year wait there, so that, that feels disqualified. Could be a completely unannounced game. But there was some confusion because... <laughs> 
This kind of falls on Jeff Keighley for this, but he uses the word world premiere in a way that many of you assume that world premiere means brand new, never before seen game. So that made you think, well, he used the word world premiere. Breath of the Wild 2 at, at Game Awards wouldn't be a world premiere, but that's not actually the way he treats it. This video right here is titled Breath of the Wild Game Awards 2016 World Premiere. That's the title by the official Game Awards account. That's what this is playing off of. So to clarify here, they don't consider world premieres to be necessarily unveilings of new games. When they say world premieres at things like the Game Awards or even Summer Game Fest that Jeff Keighley also runs, what they actually mean is just a world premiere of a new trailer for a game or movie. Not necessarily the premiere of that. So it's a world premiere of that trailer, not necessarily that game. Now, yes, they do actually have brand new games announced at the Game Awards, and we're supposed to have, I think, double digit game announcements at the Game Awards this year, according to Jeff Keighley. But yeah, this one here, this was actually a world premiere, as you see right there, of Breath of the Wild 2016 Game Awards, which wasn't a new game, had already been at the Game Awards at 2014. So yeah, was it new, but also it was a world premiere. So I just wanted to clarify that because there is some confusion surrounding this. And I understand it can be a little confusing, but I'm here to clarify that all for you today. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. It actually feels really good to be standing for some videos. Uh, it doesn't mean I'll always be that. Sometimes it will be the sitting uh, thing, but I'm trying to add a little variance here. Like maybe for a lot of my videos now that I have the wireless system, you know, I'm standing, doing my thing. Uh, and then for like live streams, I'm sitting and podcasts, we're sitting with the full blown set. I have a new set being built, which now that I have wireless mics, makes me more excited for that new set because I can actually mosey on over there and not have to worry about it yeah so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video